Welcome to Share Truth Apply Scripture. I'm Jordan Shambly, joined as always by Wesley Wildman and Cedric Sarton. And this is the beginning of a week that we have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. A tradition, a project that we do every year is the Orange Letter Campaign, starting from the very beginning of Engage Magazine. Um, it's uh, inspired by the story of, the, the true story of the, the uh, Coptic Christians in Egypt who were beheaded for their faith. When that story kind of shook the world and shook the Christian world, um, we were inspired to uh, do an outreach uh, to, uh, to uh, persecuted Christians around the world mm -hmm. uh, by allowing our audience to write letters that would be then delivered to the uh, family members of people who have been persecuted all around the world. And so we've continued that, uh, that project over the years, and this year, this week, we are doing that again, and we're going. Uh, we're sending these letters to yeah. Nigeria. And if you want to go, if you want to hear more in mm -hmm. depth about what we've done in the past, right. you can go to EngageMagazine.net, where you can listen to the podcast from this from last mm -hmm. Saturday, yeah. mm -hmm. and you can listen to that. And we just kind of we brought in uh, TJ, mm -hmm. Teddy Katie James, James yeah. also known as TJ, yeah. uh, who's worked with us in the past mm -hmm. on those, and he's been there for all of them. So we kind of went in depth with what we've done in the past. If you want to hear that, yeah. go to EngageMagazine.net. And mm -hmm. I believe uh, there are also several articles there mm -hmm. of the previous Orange Letter <laughs> campaigns right. that you can find. And I yeah. think there's one where we summarize uh, the most recent ones. Right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have to, we'll have to look for that, but I know there's plenty of content there. If you want to see how this operates, what we do here yeah. on our own campaign, I just also want to mm -hmm. emphasize the fact that when we do this, we're we have we have done exactly what we said we were going to do from day one mm -hmm. in the sense that we do make sure we partner with Uncharted. Right. That's correct. Uncharted. Right, uncharted. That we make sure that these uh, in words of encouragement, also prayers. We have mm -hmm. people me uh, email us in prayers. We print these off, we collect them, and we make sure that they get hand-delivered to the audience that we say say mm -hmm. they will be. Right. For example, in our first one, we made sure that the words of encouragement and the and the letters that were, we, we collected over 3,000, by the way, 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we made sure those were delivered to the family members of the 21 Coptic Christians that were beheaded, and we got those delivered, and mm -hmm. we're thankful for that partnership, and Thankful for your leadership on this, Jordan, no. and uh, Cedra on the social media, mm -hmm. and to make sure we're continuing on this. This is a an anchor to the Share Truth Apply Scripture radio program to EngageMagazine.net to mm -hmm. come back and do this annually. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited about this. So help us. I know that mm -hmm. our audience gets really involved in this with uh, with the hashtag that we produce and all these other different ways of sharing memes and, mm -hmm. and changing their profile pictures. Right. And so we really want uh, to spend, f you know, a mi at minimum these four, five, se six, seven days really focusing on the persecuted church mm -hmm. on a very uh, on a very tangible level mm -hmm. and very practical level. And um, and I, I like it how we, we went beyond that particular one in Egypt, and now we've mm -hmm. bounced around and looking at different uh, parts of the world yeah. that are being persecuted. So what were, what were the last couple? I know you mentioned the... Yeah, it was a after um, Egypt, we we focused on the Christians in Syria. In Syria, in yeah. Syria. And, and, um, and last year, mm -hmm. we focused on North Korea. North Korea, <laughs> which was an interesting one because we were not able to actually Can't, hand deliver the yeah, letters. We, they were able to hand deliver them to people to uh, to people, people outside who, of North to Korea. To people yeah. who, from North Korea <clears throat> who defected, you know, Christians who right. left North Korea and were able to make it to South Korea. They were able to hand deliver those, but for the rest, uh, for the ones that are remain in mm -hmm. North Korea and, and are are not able to leave, uh -huh. um, you can't really hand deliver them. They can't be caught sure. with that in their hands. Right. So they kind of had to get a little creative on how they were able to give get this message to them mm -hmm. and let them know that that we were praying for them. Yeah. Yeah, and like we said in the last uh, podcast when we had uh, Teddy James on, uh, the the whole journey <laughs> for us personally as a as the Engage Magazine team has been very. Um, life changing in a way like it, the the connection that we were able to have um when when because of our efforts uh the lives of persecuted brothers and sisters around the world were affected the effect on us was very profound too and and, and for me personally I've never felt so connected with the, the the international body of Christ 
um, across cultural and linguistic and and what have you, all those differences, they were yeah. no more. And, and yeah, and yeah, and that's why we partner with uh, mm -hmm. Uncharted. They help us. They help us translate these and yeah. in and they help us get in the original language. Yeah, yeah, and we help and they help us get these. You know, so for the ones that are like they can't read English, right? You, we that's what we yeah. take care of that. Uncharted helps us take care of that and make sure they're translated. Mm -hmm. To something they can read, and and I know um, they've told That's us. That's a good point, Sage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for the ones that are wondering, yes, that is taken care of. Um, and plus, with Uncharted, they've given us personal stories mm -hmm. about what it was like delivering these letters, mm -hmm. and 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 the story of like the first year. Um, these these families are left behind mourning their loved mm -hmm. ones. Um, uh, you know, they said they just clutched these letters right. and right. held on to them real tight. Yeah. And. And it means it, so much mm -hmm. to them. Well, and obviously, you know, when we're dealing with the persecuted church <laughs> in other parts of the world, m more times than not, almost always, uh, people's identity and other things like that mm -hmm. have to be concealed. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. we're limited in a lot of areas, but we're going to do right. our best to see if we can come up with uh, some some pictures, some type mm -hmm. of visual, and also some testimonies following mm -hmm. our delivery of the letters. So. Yeah. We're gonna. That's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna try to get that. In the past, we have been able to do that. So we do mm -hmm. have a handful of testimonies. Uh, Amar, I think I can't think of all the names that we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. got a couple there um, of people that have gone through persecution and that we've been able to mm -hmm. uh, minister to. So we're gonna try to get that. And we've done it in the past. We'll try again. But just uh, know that we're we're mm -hmm. that we're working on that because that's a um, like a, like I mentioned. You know, when you deal with the persecuted church in other world and other parts of the world. Everything is very private mm -hmm. for you know for for security reasons and things like mm -hmm. that. We're gonna do our part, but I, I guess you know unless y'all have got something else, I will no. kind of jump I, into our yeah. I just think um, yeah. If if you want to know more, like sure. throughout this next week after this uh, radio program comes out, this podcast comes out, uh, just go to Engage Magazine and right. articles will be there about this current um, yeah. Orange Letter campaign. Well, now that we've said yeah. that, yeah, do we want to tell them where we're going? Oh, look, we haven't you, met. You, you I go, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you take the do the honor there. Well, with the intro there of uh -huh. the Orange Letter campaign, a little brief history, and mm -hmm. of course, TJ did a great job he last did. week yeah. uh, doing that as well. Mm -hmm. We're this year's Orange Letter campaign. Mm -hmm. Do we get any cut? Do we have a drum roll here? Anybody? No drum roll. Uh, <laughs> we can put that in post, put it maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't really make. <laughs> no I, I can't keep a beat. Yeah. I only fine. have we, one pen, so one I can't pen. really do it. We'll work wrong. together. You go, I go. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we are going to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's the country we're going to focus on, but even more specifically within the country, our orange letter campaign mm -hmm. letters and words of encouragement and prayers that you will send in uh, to the email account mm -hmm. orange at afa.net. That will go to the Nigerian widows. Mm -hmm. That's going to be our focus this week, mm -hmm. or yeah, this particular week. Yeah, and, and when when um when Uncharted came to us and and told us about that project specifically, the Nigerian widows, it kind of it stood out to me a little bit yeah. because um in the past we we well we did deal with widows in the very first one we dealt with mm -hmm. widows and orphans of the the uh, Coptic Christians who were beheaded. Um, it kind of comes coming full circle now because. You have these these women whose whose husbands and families have been destroyed mm -hmm. and, and persecuted yeah. by uh, there, there's a terrorist group I believe they're called the Fulani Shepherds okay. uh, or the Fulani, Fulani Herdsmen and and they've been terrorizing the Christians in Nigeria and these women who have lost their husbands um, I mean can you imagine how alone they feel I mean in a, in a culture that it persecuting them for their belief in, in Christ but also they're kind of closed off from the rest of the world they don't mm -hmm. realize that they're the 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 world is full of of people who have also followed Christ and also love them and pray for them and this is our way of letting them know that they're not alone. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. And you know I've had the opportunity to write an mm -hmm. uh, article that mm -hmm. will be posted next week. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Next week. And uh, just kind of looking over just some generally looking over Nigeria uh, to kind of give us because you know when we jump into something like this and we get out, and I know our people are going to be really excited about this, and we're going to do that, and we need to be really excited about it. Mm -hmm. But um, it does provide some type of. We will never have the empathy, mm -hmm. but we will have some type of sympathy mm -hmm. and some type of uh, acknowledgement of what uh, this country, particular country, go to. Born and raised, and I know everybody mm -hmm. kind of is in this particular. I mean, even if the people in Nigeria kind of have their own world. You right, know, we yeah. kind of got our own world to some degree because we don't. Not many of us have the opportunity to travel outside the mm -hmm. country and visit other places. So uh, the article I've written hopefully mm -hmm. will uh, enhance mm -hmm. 
the your 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 emotion and your 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 encouragement and your and your love for mm-hmm. the Nigerian church, but also for the Nigerian widows. So mm-hmm. I've written that, and just a couple of things I learned in writing, uh, that, or looking at the overview na- overview of Nigeria, right, is that it is primarily split um, from mm-hmm. north to mm-hmm. south, mm-hmm. in the sense that the uh, now now the country as a whole is is an unashamed a secular country, right? Yeah, uh, not a, I mean <clears throat> they're constitutional. Everything they've got is uh, birth through secularism. Mm-hmm. However, you have a, uh, it's pretty much 50, 50 or 49, mm-hmm. 51 Christians on the South, mm-hmm. uh, as far as the landscape. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have, you know, 48, 49% Muslim mm-hmm. in the North. And, um, now you have a couple of different Christian leaders in the South, a couple of different Christian leaders or Muslim leaders in the North, you know, but the, the reality is one of the prayer requests that I learned through reading the book Operation World, mm-hmm. or yeah, Operation World, and we'll provide these links in the um, in the show notes because they're very important because that's where we got our data mm-hmm. for this. Um, but the, what I learned is that that there is a huge, uh, obviously, the worldview and the Christian worldview mm. and the Islam worldview cannot coincide and coexist at the exact right. same time. Mm-hmm. And so you can imagine the conflict there with that. And so mm-hmm. but reading up on that, uh, there's a lot to be praying there uh, for for Christian leaders for the decisions they make. Because you know, as a Christian, nobody wants to be in conflict. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not. It's a kind of against yeah. our nature to some degree, or you know, it is. Uh, so uh, having these leaders make uh, you know decisive decisions on things that they should do, and also we want to pray that many Muslims get mm-hmm. saved. Mm-hmm. You know, we have seen uh, you know a, a large amount of Muslims being saved and converted cr- to cr- to Christianity mm-hmm. in these past years, and we pray that that's the same um, mm-hmm. in in Nigeria through through the through this through this project and through the pour, pouring out of mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit and through pastors and teaching. But those are just some of the things that we see in Nigeria. Yeah, and um, in the next segment, we'll we'll kind of we'll try to delve into some more of those specifics about uh, where we're going in this mm-hmm. project. Um, and also how uh, this project affects us and how you can be more mm-hmm. involved in it because this is a an effort to reach out to those persecuted Christians, especially these Nigerian widows this year, um, with encouragement and with prayer. Uh, again, if you want to go ahead and begin thinking about writing your letter, it's uh, just send it to us at orange at afa.net, orange the color at afa.net, and we'll see you in the next segment.